Uh, let's continue with the next automation that I would like to show you. So at uh, this time, I would like to uh, turn on and turn off some lights uh, by using my input module and by using my Shelly Blue Wall Switch 4. So um, let me just go ahead and find my devices. So I have four inputs here from my input module. And as said, I've given them names. So when I uh, press uh, my devices here, you can see that they are reacting. So what I would like to do now is to use the upper left button to uh, turn on uh, my Shelly Dimmer and the lower left button to turn off my dimmer. Then I would like to use my upper right button to turn on uh, my group of lights to turn on all of my lights and my lower right button to turn off all of my lights inside the room. So I will make uh, actually four different scenes here uh, that can control all of my lights. So uh, let's just go ahead and uh, try to make the scene. Uh, first of all, I will disable my old scenes here. Uh, actually, I will delete them so they are not confusing anymore. I will press add a new scene here. And the first scene I would like to make is to uh, turn on my uh, Shelly Dimmer uh, from my upper left button here. So I have to press add a condition. It is device based because it's based on my, the input uh, of my Shelly i4. Uh, now I have to find my device and I will find the right button here. And I already gave them uh, naming in one of the previous videos. So I know that this is my upper left button. And this is the one that I would like to use for turning on my light next and this is uh, this device is set up as a button as a push button so i can choose a button push and here i can choose between a short push a long push double short push and the triple push i would like to use the short push here press next this is a trigger and press save and that's basically it uh, so uh, uh, now i can use the upper uh, left button to do something Maybe I would like to use my Shelly Blue Wall Switch 4 as well to do the exact same. So I will find my upper left button of my Shelly Blue Wall Switch 4, my Bluetooth uh, battery button, to uh, do the exact same thing. So instead of adding an AND con con uh, condition, I would like to add an OR condition. So I press the ADD condition right below the OR uh, text. And then I have to find the upper left button of my Shelly Blue Wall Switch 4. Press next. Uh, find the device inside my room. Uh, it is right here, upper left. Press next. Again, it's a button push. And I would like to turn on the light on a short push. Press next. It's a trigger. And press save. So now you can see that when my input uh, module, uh, the upper left button, is being triggered, or when my Shelly Blue Wall Switch 4 upper left button is being triggered, something can happen. So now they are having the exact same functionality. Press next. And what should be done? I would like my light to turn on. So I have to press add action. Press, uh, it's a device action uh, because I would only like to control my Shelly Dimmer. Press next. Uh, select the room. And select... Uh, the dimmer here. I would like to change the state to turn on. Press next. There's no delay. And press save. That's it. Active time. Uh, it's all uh, 24 hours a day. All week of the day. Press next. I would like to enable the scene, but I don't want to execute it. And press next. And it should be as uh, stored inside my living room. And then I have to give it a name. So I can call it upper left switches. Turn on dimmer. And I like to select a green color when turning on something and a red color when turning off something. Press save. Uh, so now I should be able to uh, turn on my lights when pressing the upper uh, left button here. 
let's uh, go to the overview to see if it's actually working. So when I press this device, it should turn on my dimmer, and it, uh, it certainly does. Uh, I can still turn it off from my hardwired, from my connected wall switch like this. Um, it should also work now if I'm using my Bluetooth button. So let's try to press the, the Bluetooth uh, wall switch here. And it does. But there's no way to turn off the devices uh, only from the hardwired button. So now I would like to make an automation to turn off the, the lights as well. So let's try to... Um, so actually, instead of making something that turns uh, off the device i will change this type of automation so i can use the same button to turn on and turn off so this time i'll try to edit the scene so press the pen here uh, press the edit button and instead of only turning on i would like to toggle the light so every time i'm pressing the same button it will change state between turning on and turning off uh, I think this is better because then I have more buttons for other types of scenes. So this is all configured right. So I have to go to next and here on the do, I instead of turning on, I would like just to change the state of the light. So I will edit this one, I will press next, I will still control the dimmer, but instead of turning on, I will just toggle the state of the device. Press next, press save and uh, this time, all of the rest of the settings are just as they are. I would like to change the name of this uh, automation. Instead of turn on, I would like to call it change state of dimmer. Press save. Good. So now, instead of only turning on, I should be able to turn on and off from the same button here. So let's see if it works. I press here. The dimmer goes on. If I press again, the dimmer goes off. If I do the same on my battery button, it turns on. And if I press again, it turns off. So that's great. Maybe I would like to be able to change the brightness level by making a double push. I would like the light to turn on at 100%. If I make a long push, I would like the light to dim down to 10%. So let's try to make two more scenes that does this. Go to scenes, add a new scene, and add condition. This is device based. So I, once again, when I double push uh, my two buttons, I would like the lights to, uh, to change to 100%. So this is the upper left button here. I select it. It's a button push, and instead of a short push, I choose the double short push. Next, it's a trigger. Press save. So that's it. Now I have to select my uh, my 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 blue wall switch four as well, so I can do the same from this device. Press add condition. Let's find my shady blue wall switch four, the upper left button. It's a button push, and it's a double short push. It's a trigger. Great. So now I've added uh, this uh, this win condition. So when my Shelly I4, the upper left button, is being double short pushed, or my Shelly Blue Wall Switch 4, is uh, uh, the upper left button, is being double short pushed, then something can happen. Uh, so this time I want the light to turn on at 100% brightness. So what to do? Add, add action. Once again, it's a device-based action. I will find my dimmer here and I will change the state to turn on. I will also change the brightness to turn on at 100% brightness level. Press next. There's no delay. Press save. That's it. So I can just skip all of this and go to select room. It's the right room and select details. Upper left switches. Double push. Under percent light so this is how i'm giving the name give it a color and press save uh, so let's see if it's actually working now so i can still turn on and off if i go to my room you can see that it's turned on at 50 percent brightness so if i make my double push now it should change the brightness to uh 100 oops 
but you can see here it did change the brightness to 100%. So that's great. If I want to decrease the brightness, I can still do it from my normal dimmer, uh, from the hardwired dimmer, but I cannot do it uh, from a push button. So I only made one scene that can change it to 100% brightness. I should be able to do the same from my Bluetooth uh, uh, wall switch here. And yeah, it's working and it's going super fast. Let me make one more scene that is decreasing the brightness to 10% uh, brightness on a long push. Let's go to scenes and create a new scene. And it's basically the same. Instead, we are just using the long push. So I'll do it quite fast. I go to living room, find my upper left button. The button push. Now it's on a long push. Press next, the trigger. And I want to add the OR condition to find and use my uh, blue wall switch for. Long push, the trigger, so that's it. Now I would like to find my lights, device action, find my dimmer. And now I would like to change the state. I would like to turn on the light and I want to change the brightness level to 10%. No delay. That's great. Next, let me go to device details, give it a name. Bubble lift switches. Long push. At 10% light. Good. And that's it. Now I've made three automations. One automation to turn on and off lights by short pushes. Uh, one uh, automation to increase light, uh, increase the brightness to 100% on a double push, and one automation to dim down lights to 10% on a long push. Let's see if it's working. So I'll go to my room, press my dimmer to see if it is changing. So um, if I press and hold my button now, and when I remove my finger, it should change the brightness to 10%, and you can see it did. So it's working, and if I make the double push, it will increase the brightness to 100%. Uh, so it's working perfectly as it should. So this is how you are using your input modules and how you are using your battery-operated wall switches or buttons to make wireless automations. Uh, let me uh, give you one more example of how to control lights. Let me make one scene which is uh, also uh, turning on and turning off a group of lights. So uh, press plus icon, press when something happens. So this time I want to use my uh, lower left button here to uh, turn on and off my uh, scene of my, sorry, my group of lights. So it's still device based, it's still based on my input module and my Chili Blue Wall Switch 4 battery button. Press next. I will find my lower left um, uh, uh, wall switch now. Lower left here. Press next. I would like to do it on a short push. So this time on a short push, I would like it to turn on all lights inside my room. On a long push, I would like it to turn off all lights of my room. Press next. It's a trigger. And I would like to do the same from my battery operated device. Or lift. Like this. Do. I would like to control a group. I would like to control all lights. And I would like to turn on all lights in this group. No delay. So that's it. Let's go to the details. Let's call it uh, lower lift switches. Uh, turn on. Call it single push. Turn on all lights. Safe. Let me try to make uh, the scene that also turns off all lights. I would like to do that on a long push. So let me create a new scene here. It's device based. Once again, I will find my lower left buttons here. Button push. This time I select the long push, press next. The trigger. 
and I will find my battery operated device as well. And once again, long push, trigger, press next, do, and this time I would like to make a group action as well. And I would like to turn off all of my lights. Press save. That's it. So I can jump right to the details. I'll call it a lower lift switches. Long push. Turn off all lights. I will select a red button. Press save. So that's it. Um, let's see if it's working now. So I'll go to my room here. And let's see if I can turn on all lights. So first of all, I will try to turn off my dimmer just to make sure that no lights has been turned on. I will try to make a short push on my input module. And yeah, you can see it turned on all of my lights now. Uh, it will not turn off anything by making a short push because I decided that I only would like to turn off everything on a long push. So I will try to make the long push now and you can see that it turned off all of my lights. So this is how you can make a long push and a short push to turn on and off things. So yeah, this is how it works uh, when making scenes with input modules and with uh, Shelly Blue Wall Switch 4. You could use any kind of wireless buttons for this and you can use all kind of uh, input modules, the i4 and the i4 DC. You could uh, also turn on and turn off your alarm zones if you wanted to do that. The principles are all the same. Uh, scenes are pretty simple and they are pretty fun to use. So have fun. I hope you learned something.